Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon Branch, and on this absolutely uh, cold uh, mid-November day, we're doing a video on this absolutely red-hot uh, 2008 on a 57 plate Bessicar E560. So Bessicar, they are part of the British Swift group. Uh, they were an independent. Swift swallowed them up many years ago, and they used the Bessicar brand for a lot of their premium models for many years. So the best car E560, the 5 range was uh, uh, one down from the top, but they were basically the same specs as the top of the range 7 series or the Swift Contiki's, but um, just the slightly less big models. Uh, launched in 2007, these are incredibly popular. The E560 is a 6.99 metre long low profile fixed bed van, and these were so far ahead of their time. I think these are for an 0708 van probably the most sought over sought after van of this age uh, that you will find in the country so these are really really popular and this is a particularly good one we get a few of these and this is probably the best one i can think of that we've had in a long time in fairness it's a really really nice van so it's a 57 plate van it's registered in early 2008 uh, based on the Fiat Ducato 2.3 turbo diesel with a 6 speed manual gearbox uh, this one also benefits from air conditioning which not all of the 5 series uh, had which is quite desirable um, low profile with the panoramic roof light this was one of the first in fact I think the first British coach built with the panoramic roof light they're very very modern vans so they hold their age really really well and this is a very good one so um, having a look at it so it's had the bonnet wrapped in this um, sort of carbon fiber effect um, these suffered from stone chips and things so this will protect it from the stone chips and it looks quite smart uh, headlights always go a little bit cloudy on these will polish them up um, but very very good as with all of our vans, it will come with a major engine service, MOT, cam belt change of its due, uh, habitation service, full valet and a 12-month warranty. Um, so, walking around the outside, we'll have a little look around the driver's side first. So we've got that nice panoramic skylight over the cab. Uh, this van came in, it sold straight away uh, and it was actually midway through being prepped uh, when it cancelled so it's not been cleaned this one and it's um, got the door card removed at the moment because we're doing some work on it but just just ignore that and you can come and have a look at it if you like um, so we've got some little mud flaps which are an extra on there having a look at the cab spec so it has got a good cab spec this one so you've got Remis concertina cab blinds and fly screen is missing the uh, blind spot mirror so that will be replaced before it goes out so it is mid prep this one looking at the inside so we've got the nice sort of um, two-tone uh, wood effect dash we've got air conditioning we've got the six-speed gearbox uh, it's got a modern uh, very nice Sony double din stereo system there as well with auxiliary inputs and stuff like that which is nice we've got a um, high-level reversing camera mirror mounted which is good Full cab blinds, uh, all in excellent order there. It's also got some, I don't think these are original, I think they're nicer quality cab carpets and it's got a from Category 1 alarm system, so they're all good in the cab. I've had loads of holidays in these. Um, before I had my own sort of motorhome camper van, um, I borrowed vans off the forecourts for the various dealers that I work for and I've had four or five quite long holidays in Bessicar 560s and they're one of my favourite vans, they're really, really good. So we've got classy, minimal uh, Bessicar graphics, double glazed windows all the way around. This van has been polished through its life. It's got a nice sort of shine to it. So it's a van that has been really well looked after. It's a gas locker there for two colour gas bottles. Fresh water point, uh, fill up point there for your underslung gas tank. Yeah, underslung fresh water tank even, sorry. Kitchen window. Mains hook up here on the solar uh, on the roof. God, it's so cold I can't talk today. So on the roof you've got mains hook up, uh, leisure battery, and on the roof is a very large solar panel up there. You've also got roof bars as well. Dump point there for your set for cassette toilet locker. Coming around to the back, bodywork condition is excellent. There is the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little crack there. It's nothing. Full width nudge bar with tow bar across the back, that's good if you want to tow a car or put electric bikes on that bike, on a, on a bike rack on there. You do have a two berth, two berth, two bike rack fitted uh, higher up there. That's your high level reversing camera, they say that isn't the original one, that's been replaced with a more modern unit which is definitely a good thing. And then we've got a ladder that's been added as well, so if you want to clean the roof or put stuff on the roof you can do. Conditional eyes of the other corner, absolutely excellent as well. 
So this is a fixed bed model with twin sofas. So it's 2.3 wide, 6.99 long, uh, about 2.7, 2.8 high. Um, so you've got a low side fixed bed to the rear with really big storage underneath it, as you can see there. Your boilers underneath the foot of the bed as well, that'll keep your feet warm at night. And that uh, real big, big storage locker with an alarm sensor on it. That's the flue for your Truma gas and mains electric powered heating and hot water system. Bedroom window, awning light, and then we've got a factory fitted full length uh, Fiamma. Yeah, Fiamma wind out awning. Uh, this is the back of the door. So we've taken the door card off at the minute, so we're doing some work on this. We've got the parts, I believe, in stock to complete it. Just ignore that. That will be uh, back to being proper. So you've got an opening window in there uh, with remote central lock-in. No need for an external step because you just step into the van. When you go into the van, what you'll find is a spacious, comfortable and extremely well-appointed motorhome. I really like these because I like a bit of space. Now, it's only got two seat belts, so it'll make two double beds. So you've got a twin sofa there. And then you've got a big, that's the door card, uh, fixed double bed to the rear. Um, but no seat belts. So for most people, to be honest, if you're going with someone else, if you're going with the grandkids once or twice a year, if you want travelling seats in vans and your, your budget is this sort of price point, this is 32.95 by the way, folks. And if you um, Google this model, uh, it's a well-priced van. It's a very well-priced van. It's in exceptionally good condition, I think, anyway. It is an older van. It's not like new, but it's very, very solid and it's been nicely upgraded and modernised. Um, so, flat floor to the lounge. This, these will pull out slightly to make single beds using the cab seats or pull together to make a double. That gives you the option of having two double beds, which is great if your partner snores or taking guests with you. And if you're only going, going once a year with someone else, take a car. Take the grandkids in the car or have them delivered and then you get a nice twin safer lounge, which is comfortable that you wouldn't get if you had seat belts. If you needed seat belts in 2008, you would have a forward facing dinette seat. You lose your lounge ability. So this is a really comfortable, nice lounge space. You've got nice, soft British style upholstery, twin swivel cab seats that open the cab right up. You've got light flooding in courtesy of that panoramic skylight, really big side windows. Now, these models suffered from a couple of things. They suffered from under floor damp. This van is fine. Uh, it's all been sorted. Uh, they also suffered from the uh, the wood finish peeling a bit. You'll see lots of these looking a bit down at hill because of that. This is perfect. It's really, really, really good. Best one in ages. So previous owners have, you wouldn't guess this, you see these nice two-tone cabinet work, this this bit would all have been um, wood originally, but they've sort of covered this in a, with a stick-on stuff, but it's very, very well done. It looks factory, and it just lifts the interior. They've also done that to the fridge door as well. You can change these uh, fridge door panels, and it really, for minimal effort, makes a huge difference to how modern and light this van feels inside. So we've got concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows back up there nice high level storage cabinet with a proper solid wood surround panoramic skylight with light built into it and rear speakers and then a big opening roof light up there on the roof is a digital tv area on a solar panel someone's replaced all the spotlight bulbs with leds which is great and so you've got that nice two-tone dash and the um what you call it it was a dash cam up there don't know if that works but we'll leave it in and the um sony double din stereo system with a nice uh, carpets as well, little map reading lights, storage pockets up there, that's all good. So looking down the van, so it's a nice place to be there, the curtains, uh, previous owners obviously didn't want them on, but you can put them back on if you want. You've got a really good kitchen, this is a British take on a fixed bed van. So, big oven, separate grill, and then three gas burners, one electric burner on the top there and a high level factory fitted microwave. Very, very deep storage cupboards. It's a really good kitchen with all your plate racks and things like that in. It's got the original chopping boards still. Nice bit of workspace. I like this raised extra workspace and a plug socket. I also like this rotunda, as I call it. I don't know if that's the right word. Clip on draining board for your sink is there. And then you can spin this around to give you really good access to your storage, which is a great idea. More storage underneath the oven. Opposite that you've got a really big fridge freezer which you expect to see these days but at the time there wasn't that many about with it. So a really big auto energy selecting three-way gas mains and 12 volt fridge freezer that's in exceptionally good condition. That's really really good as well. Another bonus storage cupboard above there. 
Nice simple touchscreen control panel which turns, turns your lights on and off, your awning light on and off and gives you your gauges for your fresh and waste water tank. Heater control panel, it's the Truma Combi boiler so it runs off gas if you're not hooked up. Electric if you are hooked up or it can run off of both. Uh, we'll show you how to use that on collection. It's the by far and away the most popular heating system on the market. Awning winder pole there where you send the tension in bar for it if it's out. And then uh, little coat racks and a full length mirror to check your makeup before you go out. So that's all good. Coming around to the bedroom area, so we've got a nice big, very long side bed. You've got a freestanding table, which lives in there, and that can be put either outside or at the front, so you don't need to carry another table. TV goes up here, now that can swivel out to face the, uh, face the front. Um, could we fit, we could fit your front TV point if you want, but it might be a bit tricky, but that can come out and face the bedroom or face the, uh, face the lounge. You've got a concertina, Fly, Constantine the fly stream, Constantine blind there, which will come across here and separate the bedroom area for privacy and so you can use it as a dressing area. More of these nice two tone high level cabinets, which are lovely, plenty of storage, all that storage underneath the bed, and a full height wardrobe, which is really big. So your digital TV aerial pole is in there, hanging rail, which is really, really long, and then storage underneath of that. If you wanted to put in some more shelves, you could put more shelves in here as well if you want, because it is quite a tall wardrobe. Finally into the bathroom. This is the only place I think Swift Group got it a bit wrong. Now, it's a fine bathroom, you know. Many salesmen would say it's an amazing bathroom. Um, I think they could have done slightly better with this, but it's a very minor thing. Um, number one, you've only got a small opening skylight. Not the end of the world, but it will do a job. Number two, they put the toilet at the end. Now, if you put the toilet there, put the shower at the end, that just makes more sense to me, but it's not how they did it, so uh, fair enough. There is a light switch in here somewhere. Oh, well, look at that, blue down lighters. That's, uh, that's not standard, that's really cool, isn't it? Um, so you've got a nice big mirror, which is good too. Decent sink, good storage cabinet underneath. Plus side of having the, to uh, the toilet at the end is you've got a really big storage cupboard in there as well which must be home to your, your blue ambient lighting LEDs that's really smart that cassette toilet with toilet roll holder and then when you're using your shower the only thing is you've got two doors instead of one so it's not the end of the world so you've got one shower door comes across there and then this shower door comes across here gives you a good size separate shower say so I have had multiple holidays in these I like to wild camp as well as go on campsites so I've showered in these showers and they're really really good plenty of hot water uh, nothing to complain about in fairness to it so our search is in excellent condition uh, for the year I would say I think it's a real good one uh, it's a Bessicar E560 at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon branch so we're just off the A38 South Devon Expressway which is just behind that American caravan over there it's the busiest road in South Devon we're dead easy to find uh, just after the M5 ends between Exeter and Plymouth at Newton Abbott. This is us, so you can call us on that number, 01626 832 792. If we're busy with customers or out here doing videos, you can call the mobile number, get hold of myself or one of my sales team direct on 07432 662 558. You can check out the Highbridge Caravans website, www.highbridgecaravans.co.uk or come and visit us at Teen Grace, Newton Abbott, Devon, uh, and ask us about this wonderful, it really is wonderful, it's really, really good, 2008 57 plate Bessicar E560 at 32.95. Thank you very much. Goodbye.